Hello and welcome to this video on forming a frequency table. Now let's just say we had a list of ages of people here. Now this might be a really, really, really long list and we wouldn't want to have to list out every single value in a massively long list. So one thing we could do is to put into frequency table to in some ways kind of summarize the data but preserves all the data. So if we have a column for age and we have a column for something called frequency. And what frequency means is how commonly a value occurs. How many times does that value occur? So let's look at the smallest value we have here. Uh, we can see it's eight. So an age of eight, how many times does it occur? Well, we can see it once, twice. So the frequency would be two. And then we might list the other ages here. So we've got nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So we just have to count how many times each age occurs. So how many times does an age of nine occur? One, two, three times. How many times does an age of 10 occur? Once, twice. How many times does an age of 11 occur? One, two, three. How many times does an age of 12 occur? One, two, three again. And how many times does an age of 13 occur? Just the once. And we have formed a frequency table. And if you had a really long list, then this would be a much better way to represent the data. Now, the problem is when you have things like weights and heights and stuff, um, if you were to record them really accurately, you might have lots of decimal places. So if you try to form a frequency table in the same way, it might be that you only see each weight once if you've measured it really accurately. So what we might do is we might group these weights into intervals. So if we put weight and let's put the unit kilograms and then we've got our frequency column again you can put fret for short so what we might do is we might group them into intervals of 10 and let's just say w represented the weight now the way we could represent say an interval of 0 to 10 is to say that w the weight is greater or equal to 0 kilograms but less than 10 kilograms and what that means is the weight is between 0 and 10 including 0 but not including 10 kilograms because the weight is strictly less than 10 kilograms. So let's see how many people had a weight between zero and 10. Well, yes, one, two, three. So three people had a weight between zero and 10 kilograms. What about a weight between 10 and 20? And usually, by the way, these would be written for you just to make it a bit simpler. So how many people had a weight between 10 and 20? One, just a one, so that is one. What about between 20 and 30? We've got how many? None at all, so we're gonna put zero. And then between 30 and 40, we've got one, two, three. And then between 40 and 50, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. And you might wonder, by the way, do we need to include this row? There's no people with a weight between 20 and 30 kilograms. Why list it at all? And the reason is, is because it's nice to see in this table that we actually have this gap. We can see that we've got some people of between zero and 20 kilograms, but then we've got this kind of gap where we don't have anyone with a weight between 20 and 30, and then some more people with a weight above that. So it's useful information because we can see there's that gap in the middle of the data, so we probably should include it.